Hello, hello. That's not a very hype song, um, but hi. Uh, I was just kind of letting it play through some of the playlists last time. Sarah Excalibur, hello, hello. How are you doing? Um, not too big of announcements, but a couple of them, and then we're going to dive in with some puzzle games. I was trying to get Uru to load, but it is not cooperating with me. But um, we're going to keep trying anyways, and if it fails... Then I have uh, a game called Churn Undying Thoughts, which looks very mist-like. So that is our backup plan for tonight. Hello, Lennon. How are you doing? Any exciting new creations today? Uh, I thought it was kind of funny. I was listening to uh, my release radar and the new Beatles song was the very first song on my release radar this week. So apparently Spotify thought I needed to listen to it. Of course, Spotify has been all sorts of weird for me uh, the last, like, week and a half. Good, nothing new. That's all right. We've only been gone a couple of days. Um, I am still pretty sick, so coughing, sneezing, all that fun stuff, a little bit of asthma. So I've got extra inhalers here on my desk uh, that I'll probably be reaching for at some point. Um so yeah, if I decide I don't want to be on camera anymore, the PNG tuber is always there and waiting. You're listening and playing Cozy Grove. Nice. That's a fun one. Uh, I haven't played it. I think I have it, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, but I've watched quite a few friends play it and it looks very cute. Let's see, where did this decide to go? Okay. This one I'm fine with. artist actually has a album release party coming up on december 2nd uh i didn't get tickets for it because being broke and unemployed is starting to wear on me a little bit uh and by a little bit i mean a lot so that's been concerning um i did have a recruiter reach out today they reviewed my resume and want to talk to me so that's at least good um, the job I had interviewed for a couple weeks ago, I did hear back from their head of talent acquisition today and unfortunately did not get the job. So I am still on the hunt. Um, depending on what happens in the next few weeks, I may be on the hunt for a new place to live, but, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty nervous at this point. Uh, it's been seven months well six plus um so i'm glad that i've managed to stay above water but definitely not in a comfortable spot at the moment uh compared to where i would have been had i been back to work and i have never i've never struggled this much to find work uh we're well over 300 applications that i've sent out now and i've had one interview so to have that much time and only one interview come of it a couple of conversations with recruiters but nothing beyond that uh is nerve-wracking really nerve-wracking so it'd be nice to to imagine that this worked as a career but uh this is a career that would take a lot of work to get off the ground and so it's not something i can realistically look at right now um, and I prefer just being able to do this as a hobby and hanging out with friends and being about the community and not about struggling to pay bills. So, uh, you were just helping a streamer how to make his shout outs command, how to make it pop out with adding the announce in front of the command. That's a great way to do it. Um, I know that when announcements first came out, they didn't appear on mobile. So a lot of people didn't like using that option but i kind of like the way you're saying there because you're using the exclamation mark shout out but putting slash announce in front of it so that it has that flare in the uh chat experience but still does whatever the bots are doing as well so that's a really cool way to do it yeah we're going to take a quick look at horizontal chat but we could take a look at shout outs too um i do have a video out there from last year it's like two weeks away from actually being a year old. Um, I really need to do the updated video on that. I have like 
five partial recordings for it, but kept getting too darn busy. Um, and you had this on the top and bottom of a shout. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So that it's a big block and it'll show up in mobile too. I like it. Very, very nice. Well, cool. All right. <coughs> yep, there's going to be a lot of that tonight. Um, let me bring up my bot real quick. Put it on the other screen so we can actually see it. And where do we do this? We do this from the game scene. We'll come back to Kern in a moment. Let's look at this one for a moment first. So uh, I use streamer bot. Obviously there's a whole lot of different bots that people have out there. Um, there's options to do uh, shout outs via stream elements, stream labs, all that kind of stuff. So uh, the shout out piece, I thought you were going to be shuffling and this is another one from Susan. Can I? No, you don't. Uh... Fine then. Can I manually change it? I can. Okay. Let's just shuffle it up a little bit this way. Do, 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 do. I haven't listened to this playlist in forever. So this playlist is from 2016 because <laughs> I like to find old ones. Uh, small streamers you find that has no bots in chat. Tell them to do slash shout out username. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> so the slash shout out is great. Um, what I have, let me get the shout outs up here. So you can see in my bot, I have a number of different uh, types of shout outs that I do. And so uh, I actually have, if there's a Twitch shout out, do I not even call that shout out? I can't rename them right now or it'll break things while I'm working, but uh, Twitch SO. So when a Twitch shout out is given, it actually fires off this command. Um, so streamer bot is smart enough that it can actually catch up the event of the shout out being created. Uh, and then the other ones I have are when I get rated, there's a shout out that gets sent and this is, it sends a Twitch shout out. So that's an automatic thing. And then it has the two minute timer on it just to block a second one from firing. Um, I recently did that because I had it built into my when rated trigger. And the problem is that the Twitch shout out does have a two, two minute cooldown. Um, it's an hour for giving a shout out to the same person, two minutes for anyone. And then they, they reduce those limits for partners. Um, with StreamerBot, only the broadcaster can create commands in it and edit them. Good question. Yes and no. Uh, so... No, not stream elements. We're going to go there later. So you can pop into streamer bot and in here you actually have your account. Um, this is tied to discord. So that's my old discord username. And then in settings, somewhere in here, you have remote connections enabled. And it's been a long time since I looked at this. Sorry. Um, Oh, that looks like I shouldn't have it on screen. <laughs> um, you can do decks and then go into here and actually add things into the system itself. And you can see it's picked up everything that's on my local computer. So I can have that all set up. Um, I don't know if I can create an action from in here, though. 
connected deck options. I can add arguments to it, which are basically like variables and stuff like that. I have remote access I can give to other people. So Annie, if if Annie logs into streamer.bot, uh, she can see some of my decks and I can see some of hers. Actually, these are tied to her stuff, so I'm not going to be pushing those buttons, but um, I don't think I can make the actions here. What I can do, though, is when I've built them, and sorry for the very bright screen, um, you can come in here, say add to export any number of commands that you've built for somebody, click the export button, and it's going to bring this up. And because of the one I selected, it automatically selected some that were connected to it. And I have a command now for the advanced shout out. I have the actions for shout out, affiliate, non-streamer, partner, and then two individuals. That's another video I'm working on. Uh, and so I can export this to a clipboard or to a file. And what's really cool about this, when I export to clipboard, uh, do I want to clear my export? Sure. So I don't need anything currently on there. I can now pull this up. Let me get a new. New notepad here. And just paste that in. And this little string of gibberish, I can paste into StreamerBot on somebody else's computer. And it will automatically create all of these actions. The ones that map up. The, those two don't. But the, the enabled ones. It'll create the actions, the command, wire them together and get them set up and ready to go so that they can actually be up and running in a matter of moments with their bot without going through and creating all of the individual elements. So if I'm helping out somebody who's non-technical, but they're using the same bot I am, I can actually send them a file or send them a note in Discord. They copy, paste, import it, and we're done. They're up and running. All of that functionality is there. Now, granted, with the way I have these ones work is they're just sending uh, messages, but like the MX Northwest one. So if I do my ASO uh, MX Northwest. What's really cool about that is it processes it through here. And then I have it set to actually switch if it's Matt or Annie, um, then partner affiliate or we call it non-streamer. Um, that was actually to answer a question somebody had on YouTube that I recorded that one. Um, so what I like about this is I then have a custom message because it's Matt. So I have it custom to him specifically. So I can give a little bit of special attention to uh, friends of the stream and stuff like that. I have not fleshed it out much yet but I'm looking forward to doing more with this one. Um, I just have to think about how I want to do it because this was just for a demo. And so I don't actually use that one. Uh, the other ones, this one, all it does is it sends the shout out. So if you type or if, uh, mod VIP or myself type in exclamation mark SO, it will then do a Twitch based shout out. And because of that, then it'll launch the other ones. So it kind of does that that combo action. And we'll shout out Annie because she's sleeping and so she can't defend herself. So there you see I typed it in, it gives the Twitch shout out and then it gives the actual like shout out command. It pops up the visuals that I want, all of that stuff fired, even though all this one does is sends the shout out because of that command. Uh, streamers, you don't mod for you've sent them your Twitch mod chat commands word wordpad cheat sheet to share with their mods on how to create commands in chat. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, if you use like stream elements, stream labs, uh, Nightbot. They all have methods for allowing mods to either create or modify existing commands. Um, now I'm curious. Do I have anything in here? Oh, I don't care about that. <laughs> this was a test. Um, so it's exclamation mark testing only. Let's see here. So... 
or commands get commands set command state set group command state hmm i am curious you probably So we have commands, define and configure chat commands, get commands. This is the one we were just looking at. The sub action will allow you to populate the commands and output them to your Twitch chat. Okay, so that would be easy enough, but I want to do. Yeah, if you're. If you... This is an interesting one in streamer bot. If your message exceeds 500 characters, it will not be sent in certain things. In others, it'll split it up. So you might have to process it. Um, earlier today, a streamer was saying he had an unbanned request from Commander Root. You said it did that because you didn't type in chat to remove it. Hmm. That's a weird one. I don't know why Commander Root would send an unban request, or for that matter, why you would ban Commander Root. Um, like, oh, they're not here right now, but they are usually in chat, or a variation of them is usually in chat. Uh, I know some people got afraid of Commander Root because of the bot banning part part of it that you have the option to use um and i've known people that have either banned or removed all followers and like completely wiped out their channels by not paying attention to what they're clicking on oh yes Haas is the most banned member on my channel <laughs> it was constant for about oh two months But again, the, the bots do a great job of it. Uh, Siri does a great job of keeping that stuff under control. Um, usually, if something comes in now that I have Siri bot here, if it's a bot, if it's somebody that is like known to spread hate, things like that, they're usually banned before I can blink. Like they enter the chat, their message is removed, and they're gone. And I just look up and it's like, wait, what happened? And it's like, oh, Siri bot hit it. Yeah, definitely add Siri bot. Um, if you have any like safety concerns, if you are a member of any, gosh, if you put a tag on for any community, I don't even care if you're a minority community. Um, they've gone after ex-military members who have their uh, military branch or service or anything like that tags on their channel. Um, anybody that's LGBT, anybody that puts a race or a sex or gender, any of those types of tags that hate people are going to just do what they do, you know? Um, set. So I can have them enable and disable commands but i don't yet know i'm gonna have to look into if you can create an a command in streamer bot because you should be able to with c sharp so let me get you back to you on that one um i'm gonna put a note into the the personal discord on something to come back and talk about and look into so uh, where does that go? That goes here. I know that most of the time when uh, people do those, they use them for adding simple text commands like, uh, you know, this variable does this action kind of thing. 
Um, a lot of people use them for like a temporary hug command or uh, a user wants to have a custom command that they can have or a custom response when they enter chat, things like that. Um, so they'd be easy enough to do. It's just a matter of figuring out the one piece of the create new command in streamer bots. So, so I'll look into that for you. Um, so next week, maybe the week after I should have an answer on it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's today's is easy. We, um, I don't know if Amy's here, so I'll save it for when she gets here, but it's super simple. We were just looking at the horizontal chat that's running down there at the bottom. And I thought I had it through CapChat and I don't, um, but I do have CapChat installed on mine because I find that anytime I'm using somebody else's web-based system, the development life cycles are different. And so uh, what you'll end up with is one of them will break and another one won't. So I always have two. So in my chat right now, I have cap chat and I have a stream elements chat. Um, the stream elements chat is a widget that's horizontal. It's just sideways chat. You click one link, it shows up in stream elements. You import the browser source and you're done. And that's what's running down there at the bottom. Um, there is a way to get cap chat to do it too. I haven't had a chance to play with it enough to make it work. But I did find uh, some folks online that made some different versions of it. Uh, you could also do like a full API driven custom HTML one. Um, so maybe if I get bored, <laughs> I'll put that together. Uh, we'll see again. It depends on what the next week holds and how I'm feeling. But yeah, um, I also do need to download the other bots because like mix it up. Um, I used that for a long time. And this one, um, I think for a lot of people, this is a much easier bot to use. So they'll they'll go with this or Firebot. Uh, Sammy is another one that's that's really per really popular. Um, they all integrate really well now, so it's hard to go wrong with whichever one you want to use. Um, and I don't know again because these all. These all run on your computer, not in the cloud. So how much access your mods have to get into there, I don't know. But I'll definitely have to look into it. Input emulation. Conditionals API, of course. I think I still have this on this computer, actually. No, I don't have it here. I have it on my laptop. Because I did, I did use mi mix it up very briefly, but I want to make sure that I do dive into these a little bit more, um, so that we don't just stick with one specific bot or you know a narrow segment of the audience. But yeah, we'll we'll talk through that uh, if Amy pops in a little bit later. I think we're gonna dive into the game. And the game we're going to be playing is Kern. I was trying to play Uru tonight, and Uru will not open. So I am not sure if it needs me to reboot or what. Of course, Steam thinks that I played it because I clicked on it a bunch of times, but it would not open. So we will uh, be coming back to Uru in the very near future. And yeah, let me switch over to Kern here. Um, I also did pick up um, uh, Talos Principle 2 because it just released. And that one has a very heavy creep factor to me. As somebody who is very much not religious, uh, the AI that believes itself God and speaks as if it is the biblical God to a bunch of other AIs is especially creepy. But that makes me kind of like it too, because I'm fascinated by religion and belief and our dependence on it. Um, and I, I don't judge people for believing or for having any religions. It's just, for me, it feels so weird. So, 
So that's all. Um, let's go ahead. Did I not hit done? No, I didn't. Got to hit these buttons. There we go. Done. It, it is. Yeah. In the first one, it's very much like you have to behave. You have to do what I've told you and you have to trust it blindly. Yes, there's something over there. Just ignore it. I told you not to look over there. So, of course, that's where you have to go to finish the game and all hell breaks loose. And so the second one, this is a major spoiler. If you were going to play the Talos Principle, the first one, you might not want to hear the next like 30 seconds. Um, if you properly beat the first one, your AI mind that has existed inside of virtual reality is placed into a machine in the physical world and you are deemed to be human so your ai consciousness has become a human consciousness so you were capable of independent thought and problem solving and all of this stuff so in the second one it, in the trailer for it it shows a bunch of these different robots playing chess and living in the world and things like that. But in the AI world, were all of these things that the programmers, the last humans who were programmers, had built these puzzles in order to test for the human consciousness to be reborn and basically put everything that they could of their memories and of themselves into these computers to help retain humanity's existence past our extinction. So, so there is a part of me that's just absolutely fascinated by this. And then that the overseeing AI that's running the program malfunctions and believes it's God. And now somehow out in the physical world, they have also left all of these puzzles again. And we're now awakening to find all of these environmental puzzles and that side of things. So I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Uh, it was a pain. It was a big game. There were a lot of challenging puzzles that were just frustrating, but it was still good. So, so definitely looking forward to that. But for now... Let's bring the sound up in here. Sound is up. Oh, it is. Where did you go? There you are. That's more like it. I don't know def for sure what to expect here. We've got some head bob, uh, field of blue, motion blur intensity. We may have to change some of these settings for motion sickness reasons. Our controls, we have camera sensitivity, controllers, inverting mouse, control device is keyboard. Standard WASD walking. We've got a mouse and F. Zoom with mouse three. Scrolling inventory is Q or I. M for map, L for letters, N for notebook. Okay, those make sense. Mute reading with R. Draw a sketch with P. Free mouse with right click. In game menu is tab. And then we'll be able to highlight some reusable objects. Okay. Sounds good enough. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Let me know if it sounds okay out there or if I need to make any adjustments. Go.
Never mind. Well, that felt like a missed opening. Letters help you progress in the name. You can move freely with the WASD keys and you can look around with the mouse. Okay. We've got a Stargate here with a little hand platform on it. Oh, there's a letter right there. We're going to pick it up in just a minute. There's gear icons. Looks like we're missing a piece. Okay. Oh, and our piece is right there. Easy enough. Welcome. I am Professor William Maythorn. Although I bear responsibility for trapping you in this world, I have no intention of harming you in any way. As a matter of fact, you should consider yourself lucky, for I wish to share all my knowledge with you. I will grant you the opportunity to study all of my discoveries and examine my wondrous creations. Eventually, I will require your assistance in an essential matter. You must cooperate with me, for you have no reason or chance to resist. Oh, pleasant. You, you must cooperate because <laughs> you've got no choice. All right. And I'm taking a picture of this, even though I know that it stores our letters, because it looks like that's going to be important. Then we've got our other piece. Is this something we can interact with? No. We have a hammer. We cannot pick up the hammer. We have a ladder to nowhere, but we can't climb it. We can touch it, but we can't open it. Good to know. Inspect the back of the item. Oh, by dragging it. Okay. Oh, okay. So inside one points away, top points down, and bottom points in. So you need to point that way, you that way, and you that way. Okay, that's kind of cool. discovered the main square interesting choice of method cleaning the branches up so that it looks like a ladder still usually people break them a little closer to the stock you know no judgment just a little weird it's actually harder to cut them away from the base so oh white house Okay. That's cool. It's the top of a tree. That we need to open from the other side, even though we were, like, able to reach through. Sure. Nothing clear here. Okay, we can turn it and we can adjust there. It wants me to press M and open the map. 
this is where we started. We walked through here and now we're in the main square and that triangle is us, okay? Oh, there is a jump button, okay. We cut down the trees, but nothing for us with that. Well, technically down here is the next path that I go on if I stay in order. That definitely made me think that I'm not alone. see something like that just walking over here sorry now it looks like an orange crystal over there hanging platform Okay, so it's just going to continue opening the map up for us. That's cool. Can I lower this bridge? One side of it, anyway. Ooh. Magical torch. And another letter. When I set foot in this island, I was an enthusiastic archaeologist in search for the remains of an ancient civilization, the Dolmar. In manuscripts, they refer to this place as the Forbidden World. They called it Guan Quernalok. To simplify it, by the right of the explorer, I gave this island a new name. Quern. I soon realized that this world means much more than an archaeological site, and my interests expanded. To make you understand the extraordinary nature of this island, and to clarify my deeds for you, I left a series of letters around the island. Okay. So I have a series of letters that we're going to find as we explore. This is looking like that symbol we just saw in the door. Hmm. What's over here? Can't take the crystal. We don't have the key. Okay. Are you grabbing anything or just a hook on a rope? I'm gonna have to find the bucket for you. Okay. Hmm. The gear icon, but the door doesn't have a way of opening it. We have to get through that door or through this one. So outside, 
down to the outside here. Oh! I see. To the center, one, two, three. Let me just have two rings here. And leave the outside alone. But I don't know what to do with any of the rest of these. This one instead, the innermost just down to the right. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try them together. So if that's the case, then these are the outer two rings. So I need to go all the way around with the second one and bring the first one down to there. ring is to the top right, then, okay, so you, to there, next level is up and to the left, and then the innermost is just down to the right. Right there. And then you. There. Okay. I'll take it. That's a mighty big chest. Got some charcoal. No writing. Crystals continue to glow. Oh. Okay. Observation fish eating a pine cone? It's an interesting drawing of the fish. I like how they did the three lines and then sketch to it. All right, what's in the box? A handle? Huh. gonna have to do with this is it this door right here no gives me spots to click but clicking does nothing I need a bar to put in that one
There's more blocks at the bottom. Oh, oh! That makes a lot more sense. I can adjust things, but where do I need to adjust things to is the question. I need to get this block over to here so I can slide it out. Okay. Not feeling like this is the best idea at the moment. I guess it's not too bad yet. This one there. So this does not work. Usually I can figure out slide puzzles. This one, the differently shaped pieces are gonna throw me off a little bit here. I know that I need to get this one to uh, the left and this one down. That gives me this piece up, then this piece is still pinned. I can move it over one, but not two if those are sitting like they are. And unfortunately, one does not help me.
the only way that this one moves forward or to the right is if this one gets out of the way. And it currently can't get out of the way of where these are at because these can't move out of its way. And this is going to trap me more. What if we do... something like this? And we move this over. right now doesn't really help me at all. That puts me basically back where we were. that doesn't help either. Hmm. I do appreciate that this is a puzzle. It's not like uh, I feel that I have to look up the answer online. It's just I need to keep moving the pieces around and find it. It's got you stumped. Slide puzzles will do that to people. Um, the weird shaped pieces are throwing me off because usually in a slide puzzle, as long as I have six pieces, I can rotate them around and swap them in and out. But because the gap is a double gap, but the pieces are different. It doesn't work the standard way. Uh, the one is a different material because it's metal. Oh, we've got ads. Um, but there's a hole right here in the board. And the metal one is small enough to fit through it into this little chamber right here. Which appears to be a weight to a bridge, bridge or a door right there. So that's why I'm trying to position it in that one spot. Um, but we've got ads for two and a half minutes. I'm going to run away real quick and put some hot water into this mug and make some tea. And I will be right back.
And welcome back from the ads, everyone. Thank you for enduring those helping us creep, keep the dead, dreaded free rolls away and allowing me a moment to steep some tea to make some uh, Meyer lemon. I think that's backwards, but some Meyer lemon tea here to help my throat out a little bit. And yes, it is just in a mug. And no, I don't currently have an electric tea kettle. I don't even have a tea kettle. Um, I did. I don't know what happened to it, but I no longer do. It's possible that my ex-roommate took it, um, which would be fine. It was hers, so that I would not judge. But I don't think so. I think we got rid of it. I think the, like, coating started coming off of it. So I have tea pots, but no tea kettles. <laughs> okay. When we were last here, we were just as stumped as we are now. So, we need this one to get over here. In order to do that, it has to get past that one. The only way that's going to work is if it can trade places. And I think it's going to be this way. Just one, you over, you down, you to the side, up, up, up. This is where I get stuck again, because I need this one to move. I need this one to be able to move over twice. Right now, I could move it one then everything is stacked and I end up with a gap here. If I go this way, I'm a little bit closer, but I have the same issue. So let's do this. Go here. These down at the bottom. Do I keep this one up here? If I move it down, I can move my two big horizontal blocks to the left. I can move my vertical long block one point to the left. I can then fill in the gap to the right with the singles. I'm still trapped. But am I better off or not? stuck right there. So let's come back just a little bit here. But if you come over... Oh, hang on. You come back to here. You go up. You go up. And you come over. Now you can come down. You can come down and over. You can come over. I think we've got it. Sorry for all the motion. I know that's a lot of motion. We've got it. And over you go. And we've got a door open. Stand still and press mouse three to zoom in. Oh. Okay.
Press P to draw a sketch. Why do I want to draw a sketch? Press N to open the notebook. Oh! Okay. Yes, I'm sure, because I didn't know what I was doing. Let me back up just a little bit. And sketch that instead. Nice! Okay. That's going to be handy. And we've got another letter. I prepared for your arrival for decades. The only thing you need to do is to climb the stairs I've built. This is the place where my journey began. Where I became truly aware of the unbelievable power this island possesses. I was rather curious back then. So eager to discover and learn. My mind was so clear and naive. I miss those times. Your journey must also begin here. I need you to inspect my studies and understand the basic utilities of these crystals. I've put an empty notebook right next to this letter. Feel free to take notes and draw sketches for yourself. You need to get to bed. No worries. Uh, if I had a schedule, I would too. So thank you so much for hanging out and joining us as we get started here. Um, there will be a VOD and eventually I'll publish it on YouTube too. Um, so you can come back and watch me suffer uh, or not. And you'll get to play along as well if you want to dive into this game. It wasn't a very spendy one. It's on Steam. So yeah. But get some good rest. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Tell the family hi for me. And we'll see you again very soon, I hope. All right. What else do we have in here? Looks like we've got some power generation. And we have two sets of cables. And one is grounded in the sand. I'm guessing we're going to pick up the crystals. Is that what we're going to do here? No. Okay. Oh, there's already crystals there. Oh, we can put our torch in it. Interesting. Okay, let's put our torch back in. Let's turn where we can see it. Can we do that? Okay. So they accept electric charge. Can't read any of these books. We have some notes. One, two, three, four, five. We have numbers. Excellent. Oh, we can actually put the notes with them. Perfect. Okay, we have a phosphorescent dust. The orange crystal puts off light, shined through a blue crystal. It works like a black light. So if we were to shine a large enough light source onto these, what would they show us? Is this, it's not blue crystal dust, is it? No. It's the white crystals that create the glowing dust. 
But why is that one glowing? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sketch that. Again, it looks like we have a spot here painted with the glowing crystal dust. Uh, this one we need to flip off. The blue ones can be charged too, but only glow while charged. Legend of Cornelok. Guan Cornelok. Belmarion for Land of Undying Thoughts. Is a mythological world first mentioned in an ancient Dolmarian manuscript. Dolmarian, totally not Dunny where it represents a great but undefined and uncontrolled power. According to the legend, wielding the power of Cornelok is a double-edged sword, holding the metaphorical meaning of the greatest ultimate responsibility. This legendary world had a considerable impact on literature. Due to its enigmatic and unclear meaning, this world had, has no defined role in the Dolmarian mythology, the allegorical aspect of Cornelok was taken up in the works of several post-Dolmarian writers. There are writings which, in which Cornelok is mentioned as the world of the saviors, as an example of utopia. However, in several manuscripts, writers blame the curse of this world for the very fall of the Dolmar. According to the legend, Cornelok is a monoway world that was hidden within the world chain somewhere between the Lash and Line. On page 74, oh, note 74 down below, and the eastern edge of the Alana world cloud. According to our current knowledge, the idea of a hidden world contradicts the rules of the world chain. Many unsuccessful expeditions were launched in search of Cornelok. Throughout the centuries, while present day philologists, philologists and historians agree that the story is fictional, there's still debate on what served as its inspiration. Okay. some of my tea here. Uh, okay, 74. The Lashin Line is a series of secluded worlds mostly populated by primitive independent tribes and the Ilana World Cloud is a cloud of 21 civilized worlds which are members of the United Empire of Worlds. So they have a network of 25 worlds. Good to know. That looks through here. That looks like it must open somehow, but isn't yet. We can't read this other book that's closed. Only the open one? Yes. We can't turn pages. No. Okay. So that's what we're meant to learn here for now. So we figure out how to open these doors with the symbols on them.
These are the acorns they were using as bait for the fish. And they're also not acorns, pine cones. And they're also grinding them. So making some sort of flour. There's that tree symbol again. The one-way gate that we're on the wrong side of. And here's another symbol that we can't do anything with at what appears to be a stone door that must open. So currently those symbols go to a cabinet, a wooden door, and a stone door. And there must be something that extends this out. stick for that one yet. Crystals. Hmm. So we've opened two doors. Oh, we have the the pine cones, and where was that well at? Was it over here? It had the hook that I thought I needed a bucket. It's not letting me get away with that. Wishful thinking, apparently. Paint glows in the moonlight, too. Why let me come over here? sides. Yeah, opposites, but, but similar. do I have that I can interact with right now? I feel like I should be able to put my crystal staff in here, but no.
can't put it anywhere for this. seen these symbols oh yes I have well maybe I have pretty sure that they map to this one is the slashes two is the backwards s There's the backwards S. Okay, what was the slashes again? Two slashes and a line. Then three is a backwards F. We're supposed to be that, and they just are drawn crooked. S. Was that backwards F capital? really, but maybe. We have the O with the line above it, and then a T. O with the line above it. We have an O with a curved line. We have an O with line above and below when upside down I'm not upside down am I no the S looks appropriate simple O with the line these are not matching up isn't really a T. Like, this is the closest to a T. Yeah, that's what I figured. No, it's definitely this way, because it's blocked that way. Whoa. So right now, I think that's the best clue that I have for the next piece. The journey must also begin here. I need you to inspect my studies and understand the basic utilities of these crystals. Right. So it appears that the blue ones act as a filter. The orange ones act as a light. And the white ones are phosphorescent.
Maybe I sketched it wrong? Can you do that in a game like this? Hey, Chai, thanks for the lurk. Hope you're having a good day. No, it's definitely a picture. But I don't have those symbols. I have what looks like the first one crooked. And then I have what looks like the second one. But the other three I do not have on this on this system. Interesting choice of weaving pattern. And again, one, two. When we hit this one, we wanted a curved looking F. What has a round edge that could be an F? None of them. said I don't really have a T either. I was going with that one. Hmm. I feel like I need to get one of the blue crystals to glow like this and that it will have the answer for me. But something, but it's not something yet. The orange ones continue to glow even when they're powder. something here, but I don't have an item for it. No idea where those wires go to. objects. What do they want us to do? 
get to yet just like this one Dumped so soon? I, I think we have to play with this puzzle, but... Something isn't right here. I can try a few different options and see if maybe he drew them crooked. So the curved F, what could actually be, aside from the backwards F, the actual letter, I don't know. symbol maybe it's definitely not an F me 
being sick is no fun. Let me tell you. Um, just stick with this one. I'll try this symbol for the O. And then what was the last one? Oops. The last one's the T. The straight up capital T. Missing three of them at least is making this extra challenging. Because even if we got two of them right, we have no way of knowing that we got two of them right. Okay. We've got to look for something else. Okay, now that we put that down, we can't pick it back up. Can't do anything with the lids. Hmm. Wait. Can we get over this railing? definitely over the railing. I'm on the table. Darn you, game physics and invisible walls. Been this whole time. Okay. Oh. I thought that our crystal would go in there, but apparently not. Feels like it should be open. This is open. Oh. It's just the one symbol. Okay. Can we put a crystal in there? Can't pick that up. Those are a weight. They're in balance empty. But I only have an item for one of them at the moment. I can't interact with that, but it feels like I should be able to. Having a walkway over to it and not being able to interact is a little bit strange. Another invisible wall there.
Oh, we're opening up quite a bit. You were just a door that I can't push open? Okay. stone wall that's blocked. I don't think we're supposed to fix this bridge. Oh, but that's the one we needed to be on the other side of. Wait. Wasn't this intact when we got here? I know I didn't look closely at it, but I thought it was. this now that we're on the other side. It certainly did not appear to have any locks on it. Take the crystal torch. Thought that might be another puzzle for that door we first saw, but it's open. I don't think we need to go back to it. is definitely out there somewhere. Probably there. There we go. the line where I can make the horizon disappear, but I don't think that's quite what I'm looking for. Oh, 
wait a second. That's what I was thinking I needed to do. Let me put it back there and then I'll look and see if there's anything else. That's gotta be it and then I need another crystal. Oh wait, let's try aiming it down below first. That was cool. Active, whatever it needed to do. Oh, this is now open. With a ghost crystal? What do I do with you? Okay, the lens for up above. Through my geological research, I discovered that one of the island's most common endemic minerals can be used as a weak but consistent energy source. To test out their limits, I started to construct simple mechanisms designed to harness the power of these natural energy crystals. Okay. Makes sense. This also looks important. that I can see from here. That definitely looks like a probable door. You know, maybe not. We don't have a way out there, so might not be. It just looks like it. I wonder if that closed the door or not. No, it stayed open. Although now I do wonder if this also pops up when I shine the light on that. So let me do that before I climb back up the stairs. out right now because this one should be up if they all opened and they did but you were not powered that turned you off too does that mean you now can power because you turned off the other one No. Is there an order to you? 
one. Yes. Okay. Once here. There's another one here. Okay, we got number two right. You're locked. You don't have anywhere for me to go. Back to the main entrance, or the main area. Main square, whatever they want to call it. Anything around this? You're not going to let me go back there. Okay. Just put that lens in there and deal with that when we get back up here so that way we have it in place when we are moving the the scope around okay i'm gonna guess this is three and it was and then hopefully there isn't another one and this is four right here We've done something. We don't know what that something is, but we've done it. We made the balls go away. That is what we know. lit up by our energy source. We're going to head up and see what we can see now. That didn't open. So far, that's been our clue. When things have happened, it's opened doors. I'm not seeing any more open doors. Maybe the one down by the water? So we'll head down there next. We're going to go into the crystal room first because we can see it lit up with stars, which is amazing. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. So we have one, two, three, four, five across and one, two, three, four, five down. But they're one, two on the bottom. So it's like four, five, one, three, two. And that's an ad. So. Amy Ward Art, hello, hello. Quick lag before ice and duties, no worries. Um, let me share something with you real quick, because do you have like 30 seconds? 
and let you know it's time to click the buttons. Well, I appreciate that. You do. Okay. So if you have stream elements and you just add a... They aren't live yet. That's okay. You don't have to... Oh, they're not live yet. Now I'm with you. Brain functioning, sort of. Barely. So if you have stream elements, copy and paste that link into your browser. And I'll show you real quick what it's going to do since we're in an ad anyway. As I break all the things. My computer's going to be really happy about this. It's like cooking right now. Um, so when you click that link, it is going to launch you into Stream Elements. And it actually creates this sideways chat um, little uh, overlay for you. Click this link. Copy URL. OBS, come up here, please. Come into here. Add browser source. New sideways chat. Okay. Boom. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080, but whatever you have your size for. Click OK. And now it's up here. And we'll just say something. Hello, world. And boom, there it is. Hello, world in bed. And that's it. Position how you want. Um, there are some customizations you can do in the overlay itself, but that's not important right now. And let's not burn up my GPU. And now I'll eat a cookie in the last 20 seconds. Play with it later. Excellent. Have fun. And good luck with Ison. Cookie. They may be running a little bit late, so you have a little bit more time. Well, we're glad to have you here as long as you want to hang out. Welcome back from everyone. Welcome back from everyone. Welcome back from the ads, everyone that was enduring those for us, keeping the dreaded pre rolls away. Uh, thank you for enduring those. Thank you for reminding us to take a break. Um, we're going to pop in earlier, but a bunch of friends did a Discord catch up and you haven't chatted with them in ages. So you did that? That's wonderful. Yeah, you never need to worry about it. Um,. The puzzling is going and I am surviving. I'm very much coughing a lot. I'm sniffling a lot. Uh, I'm very congested. I've got a bit of a headache, but I'm surviving and my energy levels are 100% higher than they were yesterday. Yesterday, I could not keep my eyes open all day long. I was sitting here. Um, I was up late, but I dozed off a couple times and just kept trying to function. My body was like, uh-uh, you need to rest. So that's basically what I did is I just rested. Um, I feel like my house is in a decent enough shape that I can do a little rest. I've got a load of laundry in now. Um, so, so that's all good. Yeah. And the puzzling is not the game we were planning to play. We were planning to play Uru, but so far it is going pretty well. Um, we just figured out that by shining some crystal light from that telescope over there through this lens that we just popped in. Crap, I have laundry in the la machine. BRB indeed. 
glad that I said those words. Um, but yeah, so that lit up this blue crystal, which allows us to see... But this guy went a little crazy with his um, phosphorescent paint here of the white crystal dust. And apparently he just threw it at the ceiling, made some stars, but he also drew some convenient symbols over here. And we know from these symbols in a book that he, or in a page that he drew, that there's one, two, three, four, and five. So we're gonna start with one. That's this one. And then there's a row here, and they're one through five across the top as well. So we're gonna try that. It's the squiggly, the circle with the line through it. We're gonna be turning around a lot to get this, so... Oh, you know what we can do is we can just do this. And sketch button. Next page. Next page. There we go. Oh, nice. It did not include the piece to the left. How convenient. We go like that. Will you get it all? No, that only gives us one through four. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, this is fine. Uh, squiggly. Circle with a line through it. Angled H, L, I, and the hoop. Angled H, where are you? Right there. L with the I and the hoop. No, sh no idea if that actually did anything for us. I wonder if it's not one through five this way, but one through five this way, taking those into account. In which case, it would be squiggly, circle. Let me delete these. I can't use them as they are. Okay, back. Welcome back. That was quick. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So squiggly circle. The Y. O, the I. So we're going to go squiggly. Circle with a line below and a dot above. Square root of Y. The two lines and then the I. That one that one. Again, no indicator to let me know if we got it right. Three blanket hoodies, not much effort. Both keep it easy. That's good. I have in the washer is my load of all of my 
black and gray clothes. So there's at least one skirt, one dress, a couple of hoodies, lots of unmentionables. Um, <laughs> so a bunch of stuff that has to come out and hang to dry. <clears throat> and like half of it goes in the dryer. And my big comforter is currently still in my dryer from the other day because my dryer has two different, well, it has like 10 different methods, but but it has bulky items, towels, um, regular drying, like all these different things on this dial. And then it has an extra power button, which basically adds 15 minutes to whatever it's doing. But it has a dryness sensor and depending on how high you put the dryness, it senses the moisture going through to the dryer vent. And if it gets low enough, it shuts off, which is fine for most things, but it's irritating for towels and big comforters, which hold on to some of their moisture because the air will start flowing dry, but the items aren't completely dried yet but they're low heat items so you can't cook the moisture out of them. And so, uh, yeah. So I have to set the temperature and turn it to dry for time. And then it turns off that sensor. What did the doctor say to the gingerbread man who broke their legs? Try icing it. I wish I had frosting right now. Hello, Jester. Good to see you. So we tried this line, nothing happened. We tried this line in the order of one, two, three, four, five, and nothing happened. We have two, one, two, three, four, fives. Okay, ice and duties times. You'll be lurking away. Thank you, thank you. And I'll I'll be resting soon. Yeah, I'm definitely getting rest. Um, I've got to keep doing the job hunt thing, so that's my primary focus. And I told somebody I'd be available at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so in 12 hours' time was the first time slot I told them they could call me. So I have to get sleep in there somewhere. Okay, we have four handprints. Why? Two aimed down, two aimed up. Left, right, left, right. Is there anything else? Any other clues in here? Can I pull the, the lens? No. Let me try it the way that I did first. So we're going to go one, two... We're going to go across. So it was squiggly again. Line through it. One. Two. It's going to be this circle. Got the G, the plus down. H with a hoop, and then the circle with the line to the left. H with a hoop, circle to the left. Okay, line three is the top line. Square root of Y, hind branch. You came in for a short hello. You're binging Dragon Prince with a friend? Oh, fun! Enjoy. I haven't watched that one yet.
that circle, and then this one. Okay, that's three. Four is this line. So we have the Crooked TIE Fighter. Eject. Circle with a line through it and the backwards F. A circle like bear trap looking thing? Yeah. Okay, and then fifth is this line here, so I sailboat. Other eye. Four and then the S. Where are you? There you are. And then you. So that was our five combinations going across. So nothing happened doing that. We can go back across and try the other method of one, two, three, four, five across, doing the vertical columns again. Lily, hello! That might not be a bad idea. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit sick, but I'm getting by. Um, I can kind of see from here. There's a couple here at the top that are going to be tough to see. But it would definitely make things easier than trying to spin around. Um, I tried taking a picture of it, but I can only get four of the columns and not the left side. And then to make things more complicated, I also have this guide. So these are not in the same order, but they're one, two, three, four, five as well. So that's making things a little bit interesting. So I'm trying to figure out what it wants me to put into this thing. And so far I've done all of them across. And I did this one in the translated order. It's very much like Mist, yeah. Um, there's a little bit more object interaction. So I found a lens and put it in here. And I found a staff with a crystal that powered up and is shining the light through a telescope down there up into this lens that's shining into this crystal. And that's what's allowing this room to light up like it is. And then we have the notebook and we have letters. Um, so these are the letters that we've gotten from the person who sent us here. So it seems very much like Mist. We have multiple worlds. Uh, so far, just the one that we're stuck on for now. And he tells you right away, And Professor William Maythorn, Although I bear responsibility for trapping you in this world, I have no intention of harming you in any way. As a matter of fact, you should consider yourself lucky, for I wish to share all my knowledge with you. I will grant you the opportunity to study all of my discoveries and examine my wondrous creations. Eventually, I will require your assistance in an essential matter. You must cooperate with me, for you have no reason or chance to resist. And these two little sketches were the, um, the solution to our first puzzle. And then he goes on to talk about, hey, I put a notebook here. Feel free to draw some sketches. And I discovered that one of these crystals can be a power source. So that's the orange crystals. And then this is actually, there's an orange crystal here in the picture. It's not cooperation. It's the other C word. Coercion. Yes. The You are trapped here unless you help me. Definitely not cooperation. But at the same time, I don't dare not cooperate because, hey, it, it's the only way out, I guess. 
Oh, I just realized when I flipped this switch, I unlocked all the gates, but I didn't know I'd unlocked all of the gates at that point in time. Okay, number... Did we do... Well, we'll do number one again just in case, so... It's going to be four, five, one, three, two is the order we're going to be doing these in. And let me just do this in the notepad. I think if I back up, maybe it'll capture it all. Yeah, that's better. Okay. We can use that one. So squiggle, whatever we want to call this. Square root of Y, TIE Fighter, and an I. You make sketches into your notepad. Yeah. Yeah, you can hit a button, and so you don't have to keep going back and forth the whole time. Second row is going to be the eye with the line or circle with the line through it, G, the palm frond, the ject symbol, and the sailboat. This will be U, U, the ject symbol, and the sailboat, right? Yeah. The eye with the open eye. I did that wrong. I just went one, two, three. Well, let's finish it off because why not? I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, H arrow. Like that. Then the arrow open eye. Reminds you a bit about the indie games made by Glitch Games. It's a puzzle game too. But one of the me main mechanics is that you take photos of everything and use them to solve puzzles. Okay. Very, very cool. Like, um, oh my gosh, what is it? Viewfinder? Is that one of theirs? I wonder who this is from. Let me look. Because we can. by Zadbox Entertainment. You were trapped, your way back is gone. Yeah. Oh, let me just drop my phone onto my keyboard. Uh, you don't know Viewfinder, but Glitch Games made Veritas and Forever Lost. Okay. I might have to check those out. I'm thinking that there is more to this. If it's one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, why don't we try to map across and do one, two, three, four, and five. So if that's the case, we're going to start with the squiggle, then go to the G. Then three is the top row. We're going to do the 
lines there. Four is the third, so it's the bear trap looking O. And five is the second one, it's the S. Notes did look like coordinates. Yeah. We can try it backwards. Not a speed thing. Good night, Chai. Get some good rest. I think I probably won't be too far behind tonight. I already tried starting with one and ending with five. Yeah, so what I did is I took the notes that I had that outlined what symbols meant one to five on the left, and I went from the leftmost column going horizontally across, and I input each combination or each each row in order of one, two, three, four, five in that stack. And then I went back through and I was doing the um, verticals, but going one, two, three, four, what, four, five. And I made it to one, two, I messed up three and then put it in. The only one I have not done vertical is this one. So I'm going to try it real quick, but I don't think that's my answer. And then I tried the coordinates one, two, three, four, five. Because it only accepts five symbols. And then I tried that backwards and then I tried it forward again really fast. Let me try this one just in case. I don't know why four would be the answer. What about taking the symbols for the coordinates, but do it in the order of one, two, three, four, five? Um, I 
think... I think I already did, and I'm trying to make sure that I understand correctly the way you're saying it. Taking the symbols for the coordinates, but do it in the order of one, two, three, four, five. I, yeah, I did. So, so going from left to right, this is one. So one, one is this one. This is two, two. This is three, three. Four, four. And five, five. So that's the mapping of these coordinates to these coordinates. So I did them in order, and then I did them backwards as well. And neither one of those opened anything. So I'm just going to try this one real quick, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five. So LI, the H with the circle over it, the embedded circle. So one, two, three. Embedded circle, bear trap, needle. So yeah, I don't know. The only thing that I didn't do successfully is going each entry all the way along this direction. I guess I didn't do five, four, three, two, one. find it interesting that the first column is dim. Everything else is really vibrant. But the first column is noticeably dimmer. Leave this for a minute and come back to it because I think there's another door that we opened. Wait, what is this? <gasps> I know where this goes. I don't know what these are, but I know where this thing goes. It should go over here. has six buttons on it. Not the most helpful. So the coordinate has five symbols and you can press those symbols in two different orders and they're reversed to do trial four. I tried Shora, hello, hello, how are you doing? Welcome in. Um I'm sure that I'm missing a few combinations, but I tried one through five in all possible combinations. I did not try backwards in all different possible combinations. I wanted to check if this door opened, and it did not. Okay. Forgive me if I, I butcher your name here. Uh, Aksusem? Have you played Curtain before? I think is actually how it's pronounced. I picked 
picked up a note here. We still can't do anything with this, and it looks like the crystal isn't really here, but the cabinet won't open. You did wonderful. Oh, now I see what this is. Okay, so that was the map guiding us to these, which we did. So that was the piece that we just opened up. I was going to be playing Uru tonight, and I clicked over to this because Uru didn't want to open for some reason. But... Burn decided to. So uh, this is where we're at. We just discovered this has popped open. And we just put the panel over here. We don't know yet what to do with it. But it's here with six tonal buttons. And it looks like something else is going to go in the middle. But we don't have it yet. I have a bowl of acorns and dust. I used to have a crystal on a stick. But now it is powering up a light through a telescope that goes through a lens into here. And I am stumped by this wall right over here. <laughs> so I've been trying to figure out the combination of this note over here. And how it's telling me one, two, three, four, five. Mimi, hello, hello. Good to see you. I am not in bed yet, as tempting as that sounds. One of these days I'll have to stream from my bedroom just so that in bed bot can be right. Be like, yep, I'm in bed. Not a sleeping stream, because that creeps me out, right? So yeah, so I figured out that those map to this. One, two, three, four, five. So we have this five by five grid. Callan, hello, hello, welcome in. Let's pop over here and properly say hi. How are you doing? What were you up to? I'm sure the bot will catch up and tell me in a minute, and if not, I'll force it to. Welcome in, raiders. There we go. There is an ace of hearts over here, and I can tell you right now that for many of my chatters, there's a heart up at the top of your chat, so go ahead and click on that for me. I'm going to click it right now myself. You're playing no... Inescapable, no rules, no rescue. I feel like it, I'm playing the same game. Uh... <laughs> Different title, of course. It says, a cute femboy VTuber with an adorable Corgi Pupperino. It says your pronouns, but unfortunately cut them off. Of course it did. They, them. Fantastic. And oh my god, your, your character is so freaking cute. Well, thank you for choosing us for your raid tonight and bringing your community over here. Um, I'm Violacious. Uh, my pronouns are she and they. Uh, I'm completely a variety streamer. Tonight we're playing Kyrne. Uh, earlier this summer I had to miss a whole bunch of streams and so we decided when we miss a stream, we play Mist. But we've played through Mist, uh, Riven, the sequel to Mist, Mist 3 Exile, Mist 4 Revelation, Missed five end of ages, and we were going to play Uru, but it didn't want to open. So we picked up Kyrn, which is a mist like environmental puzzle game. And that's what we're doing tonight. We do all platformers, a lot of Hollow Knight, uh, paint miniatures. We need to finish up this crazy looking demon tree that we started in the Halloween season. We also did paint a demon that I still need to put a little bit of finishing touches on. The lighting's not the best on this camera, but that's okay. So I need to just do a little, little coating on there. Ah, 
Bob been playing some Alan Wake 1 and 2. Very nice. Inescapable is a really badly written and long game that you stream on Tuesdays to make fun of because it's just torture. I love that. Sometimes we need to be tortured just a little bit. Well, welcome in. If you've got a raid and run, I totally understand. And please feel free to do all of the post-stream care that you need. And that goes for any of the raiders as well. Got to commit to the bit, right? Sometimes you do. Absolutely. Let's pop back over... And since you're a VTuber, I can show you. We have one currently, but I'm working on another one actually based on our channel mascot. This one is just one I picked up temporarily. If it will behave, there we go. Hi. Um, but I like, I want to get a live 2D one that's actually based on our character. Um, that's loosely based on me and kind of combined with Alice from The Adventures in Wonderland. So yeah, so you'll see me pop up like this on any time when I just don't feel up to being on camera. But yeah, so I have it set so that we can toggle that on and off. And apparently I messed it up. And so on one of my scenes, it's both my camera and the PNG character. But um, it works for now. I want to get a live 2D character. I just don't want to spend the money on it. I'm, I've been unemployed since April, and I'm trying to find my way back to work. Crossing my fingers that something happens, like, in the next week. But we'll see. Well, thank you again for raiding over, and Mimi, I see you've got the raider tag on you, so I have a feeling that you might have had something to do with this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Um... We're going to continue being lost in this puzzle. Maybe. Uh-huh. Mimi, did you already have your return to streaming? I know that that was coming up. You did, and I missed it. I am so sorry. Let me click over to your page and make sure that I have alerts on. I should, but let me double check. Whoa. It dropped me into... Oh, it popped out chat. I was like, what am I looking at? <laughs> You enjoy hopping around to everyone's chat? Same. Okay. So we tried everything across. We tried everything in the orders of one, two, three, four, five, because of what the other note showed us. We haven't tried anything just and it's vertical as it's displayed. And the only symbol that matches on both of them is this S. The rest of the symbols only exist in one or the other. can we do here? I also tried... Well, we're not trying to rearrange them. We're trying to understand them. And then we have these blocks over here. So, if we look like... We have... This note... So you can see it takes what's on the left and it makes this this symbol one this one is two the like backwards lowercase f is three 
The upside down omega is four and the T is five. So then we have one, two, three, four, five across the top. So I've been trying to input different combinations of these into over here, which has a five by five grid of all of these symbols. So we did the order that they're in across, but we did them this, this row, this row, this row, this row, and this row. So we did them in five sets of five. Then we did the horizontal columns going with one, two, three, four, five. Then we did going across, but zigzagging to the coordinates. So one, two, three, uh, four, five. And then we did that one backwards. So I am stumped on all of the logical answers, and now I'm trying to think outside of standard logic. <laughs> tempted to just do vertical, but I don't know if it's finding the one right combination or if I need to input five different sets all correctly, which would be crazy. You don't remember, but you do not think we have to rearrange any already written order at all. all. Okay. Am I at a point where I take a hint? Let's see. I can override this and make it dark mode. And Mimi, thank you for the comment on the sweater. I'm definitely in cozy mode. I'm still a bit sick, so staying, staying cozy is important. You're wondering if the symbols that represent the tally marks that each symbol on the far left side of that grid is the vertical column of the corresponding tally mark, if that makes sense. Oh, instead of going the mapped coordinates, if we go one, two, three, four, five from the columns, we could try that. Let me see if this is going to be bright. Sorry, give you a heads up because I can't go dark mode on it. Does it have it? That's the other question. No. I don't want an actual walkthrough, so if I can't get it in here, we're not going to do it. Samsara, hello, hello, Kia Ora, friend. How are you doing? So if we did that one,
if the symbols represent the tally marks, that each symbol on the far left side of the grid is the vertical column of the corresponding tally mark. Like the upside down omega would be the fourth column while on the grid. Yes. Say, I'm sorry, you finished painting the roses. Nice. Only two scenes until you have to go back on stage, but wanted to pop in and say hi. Thank you. Hi. You break a leg out there. I'm so excited for you. And is tonight the performance? Whose legs did you break? Uh, whoever you're an understudy for, of course. <laughs> or if you don't want to take somebody's spot, the, uh, the sound tech. They don't have to move around much. <laughs> it's the final rehearsal with the sponsors in the audience. Oh, fun. I hope it goes wonderfully. So yes, yeah, so if we go with this one is here. You think about this for a moment. I'm just trying to think how I would apply it differently than what I've already done. What's the written order on this sheet? Don't rearrange to one through five, just keep it. Oh, that I haven't done. But Cam needs to carry your filing cabinet back into the garage after the show. Give anyone's legs that needs broken. <laughs> Not right now, no. Okay, so instead of trying to rearrange them to what we see here, going with what we have here. I'm going to take a picture of this just so that I can have it at the same time, because this is a lot of information. We're doing it that way instead. That one I can do something with. So we're going to go now with this symbol. So starting with this one. Hydrate is a wonderful idea. Thank you for that. Interesting in bed, but I hadn't thought of that approach. Getting a little too misery for me there. Okay, the next would be this one. And if I'm going across, we're going to then do the G symbol. The next is the T. And we're now in the third column, so it's the open eye. You'll be back, sounds good. Fourth is this symbol here, so we're going to go with the LI. And then fifth is the lowercase f. That symbol. I didn't like that either. If we try the coordinates and in order, 
then it would be this one to the fourth column. So we're going to go back to the old ones we had, just changing the order here. And this one to column two. That one to position five. This one to position one. Just the squiggly. And then finally, that to three. Just that one. There we go. So for anyone playing along at home, it was follow this order, use these coordinates, but one, two, three, four, five mapped across to each other. Thank you for pushing the uh, different ideas and ways of thinking about that. I was getting too caught up in the literal one through five there. They are. The one that it had before that to get into this room was a slide puzzle, but the pieces were in two different sizes. So it took a while to get them aligned just right to move aside from each other. Okay, we've got a hook and an orb. Okay. Is that going to be... Oh, and we have another crystal rod, but this time blue. And he made a mess. I'm guessing we need a key. I think I know where the key is. We can't take the, the orange torch, can we? No. Okay. Well, we've got a couple more things we can use. I think that's probably it, at least for now, for this room. Until this cabinet opens. And those have kind of been opening on their own. I'm thinking that the glass bowl... is going to go on the hook over here by the well, or the, the rope anyway. And we might put our acorns, our pine, pine needle, pine cones, back in words. Yep. And then will you go inside? You will. Okay, I was right. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Do I wait or do I already have a fish? Ooh, it's not just a fish, it's an electric fish. Okay, we'll just carry around an electric fish in a bucket. We haven't gotten keys yet. What can I do with an electric eel? Where can I put an electric fish? I don't think there's anything in here I could do. Nothing that looks like it would take that. Maybe something in here? After I just finished saying I didn't need to do anything else in here, like maybe it goes right here. 
And then the blue crystal can go here. Since we no longer have our orange one. Okay, now our blue is charged and glowing around us. Oh! Maybe with this we can get into the cabinet down below. I don't know how long it's going to stay charged. We had this cabinet down here with the white crystal. the orange one. You're a bigger spot now. Oh, hello. No idea what any of that goes to. trying to tell me because we've only seen one symbol like that and we left the door open. Okay. Anything else over here? And once again, these symbols do not line up with what we were seeing on the others. Oh, and that's the one that I said I thought was a, a door, too. I need to find something else because that does not go to anything that I'm aware of. Oh, we'll be right back. Apparently, we've got an ad break for the next few minutes. So this is a great time to take a moment and step away, stand up, stretch, look at something other than our screens. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
And welcome back. Thank you for enduring the ads as we took a break. Got to step away for a moment. Sorry for the delay getting back. I needed to puff on my inhaler a little bit before trying to speak again. And we're looking for open doors. Anything new? Or any symbols that we might use those new symbols we received to us out here. Can't jump across, unfortunately. do we have we have this but we don't have the devices it wants us to plug it in here so we have at least four five keys three to those a small chest by where we caught the fish that back in there now. Okay, good to know. These symbols didn't change. No. I could aim that up here in blue, but I don't think it'll make a difference that way now. It won't be charging up the one in the center. None of these doorways are opening. here. Let's make sure that we got a picture of those symbols. We sure did. Okay. Let's get our blue crystal back then.
did not power up the up though at least not in the current form I could take both of these into the basement but like that is probably one of our keys right there inside of this crystal do with that? I have no idea. We could put the blue one over in that rack that we saw. I'm not sure what we're doing here yet either. sand we have this and so far we can't do anything with it between when you're just like I know I need to do something but I don't know what or where hmm oh I can't even put that back okay we need here is a stick like grab a branch off of any one of the trees around you or just get stuck you know that's fine too both of those seem like they would make great handles I don't know why it won't let me do that is this one open already a successor of current turn in the making nice I know that cyan is working on additional games but they're mostly bringing over their existing games to modern systems and VR and all of that stuff The only thing I've got right now is putting the blue one back and then putting the orange one back in the telescope and trying to aim it over through the trees there. We're putting the blue one in the telescope and aiming it back into the lens back in the crystal room, but that functionally shouldn't do anything based on the rules we've been given so far. It doesn't mean that anything is definite. So it would be right there, that tree next to the lens. But 
there's the lens, there's the tree. Probably you'll need to adjust that, but get a good close start. Also, it didn't need a it didn't need an electrically charged blue crystal to do what I'm thinking I'm gonna try here. So I don't know if this makes any sense. I am just barely off. Maybe that tree is just in the way. Either way, that does not appear to have done anything at all. Try putting this one at the crystal chamber and see if it makes any difference at all. It's not even interacting. Nope. Makes such a satisfying noise when you get it right. So it makes me think that that was not at all correct. So where can this go? Where else can we do anything at this point? Passage around the outside, the hanging platform where we got the fish, the main square, the crystal lab. There's like one little bowl thing that we couldn't interact with. I think there was something in the gateway, so let's go there. I feel like that's wrong, but since I don't have any other ideas at the moment. downstairs that we missed. We got the bowl. We got the blue crystal torch. Still don't have a key. Don't have any keys. Imagine one of them's in the chest. This hasn't opened, whatever it is. And this hasn't opened either.
we haven't gotten any clues to the piece that we retrieved here. lights up, but of course doesn't go anywhere. And we're not powering these up with our crystal rods. was not there before. Okay. you trying to tell me? What else could you go to? lit up because I'm holding on to the blue crystal rod that's energized. So it has the white crystal dust on it. if there's other hidden messages out there. just to push a button.
so far, it's looking like that's probably the only one. You're gonna crawl into bed since it's almost 2 a.m. Always love hanging out here. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for stopping in and guiding a raid over here tonight. Always appreciated. I hope you get wonderful, wonderful rest tonight. And I know that I will once I get there. Yeah, thank you so much. There was this, but can't do anything with it. It's just kind of there. And then there's this bridge that we've lowered this side, but the other side, we have to get over there somehow behind another locked door to get to here to flip that lever. So it's just going to be a shortcut when we get there. stuff over there though and there too for you it's nearly 9 a.m i love how we've got people all over the world um samsara who was in here a little while ago is in new zealand at their final rehearsal for uh school of rock Oh, I can kind of see the lines even without. But this definitely makes the big difference. What else might this apply to? Does it need to apply to anything else? Could it be just one, two, three? Whoops. Luckily, it hasn't been too picky about. Uh, Timing and stuff like that yet. This box looks important. our only secret. Hmm.
what can I do with that symbol? One second, my dog's barking at me. Wait, this one has a handle. Well, this one's just a wooden bar, wooden pole. I guess since this one needs to conduct electricity, that makes sense. But it also has a shape. It's not this one. else did we maybe have a shape that we could put something into? No, you're a gear. The only thing I have that has multiple rows of anything is the letters and symbols back here, which feels entirely wrong. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it only accepts five for input, which would be one, two, three, four, five, with the fifth being off the table. There's got to be something else. There has to be. scribbling in this or something. That does a whole lot of nothing, no? Anything else I can interact with other than those six buttons? I think so. I mean, 
This way doesn't make any sense. Thanks for the follow. A new friend? What have we got here? So we have what looks like an engine or a fan. I've not seen anything like that. The other symbols, which also are not on our board of symbols. got this one because this was the pattern of the buttons that we pushed when we first got the the torch and the telescope lit up and that's what raised the panel by the giant pillar in the main square the upper thing like that cage with stones. Up your thing. Wait a minute. Yeah, it does. I did not see that. I'm thinking engine, not thinking this at all. Thank you. Okay, triangle. Percent. Okay. Triangle is there, the percent is there. Triangle is the top left corner. Then the TI below it next to the percent sign and you're coming up here. one of our keys. Sweet! Okay. I th I'm hoping this is to the little box. We have the little box up here and then we have the door downstairs and I think it's big enough that it's probably the door, but I'm trying this one first. Nope, not that one. Wait, did I just have the wrong thing selected? No, okay. Back downstairs we go.
<laughs> a key, a key, exactly. Hello, hello, welcome in. Let's see, I'm going to try your name and I apologize in advance, but... Kale... Kale Rishital? It worked! Our key fit a door and it's a tiny room. Any secret notes on the walls? No. Kale? Or KL? Fantastic, nice to meet you. It's time matter. you learn the truth about this island. Mm -hmm. As you probably noticed by now, this world has no day-night cycle, nor weather changes at all. In fact, the whole concept of time has a different meaning in this place. For one who stays in this world, the relative time in other worlds appears static or fixed. This incredibly powerful phenomenon also prevents the aging of living tissue. When I realized this, I was eager to find out what kind of eternal source gives Quirin this extraordinary power. It made me forget the task I originally came here for. The archaeological exploration of the Dalmarian city has become irrelevant. Hmm. Okay, and Tempus Rerum Imperator did not read. Eat a success. Well, that key looks a lot like the one that's stuck in the crystal down below. Oh. Interesting, I don't know what that's going to go to, but... else we can take off your desk? A mug of tea? No? We can't grab our key back from the door. Okay. But hey, we've got some items now. Let's take a look at our inventory real quick. Well, that's definitely going to the door outside where we were trying to figure out our symbol. success a key where we can change the settings of the pins all right where would that key go is it for here maybe Not yet if it is. You are going right here. Okay, so 
we can adjust this key. sure if this is right at all, but it's what we're trying anyway. Not sure that this key even goes to this. might we have use of a key is there another chest to open well there's the other cabinet let's go check if we can do anything with that that makes me think that there's three of these keys oh do we have something we can put in here probably still no That is definitely one of the keys with two prongs instead of three. So how do we destroy this crystal? Some water. is absolutely suspended in there. We can't open the cabinet because the crystal's in front of it too. Hmm. Spent a lot of time walking in circles. Uh, that's been the trend for tonight. No idea where we're going. Trying to remember, did we see a keyhole anywhere? this door that doesn't open or do anything because we're not on the other side of it. We have these symbols and they tend to unlock themselves. But I keep walking to them anyway just in case we've magically changed something that unlocked them. Seems like maybe they're tied to progress of other things. Okay, but that does tell me that this key should be one of these three. It should be that one. Imagine it facing that way. Left top bottom. Hey, 
Thank you for the hydrate. My cat is clawing at my door. They don't usually do that anymore. Great idea. How are you doing tonight, Keith? Okay, well, apparently that's not the right order then for the key. Yes, indeed, for Sephiroth. Hello. How are you doing, beautiful? Apparently, I'm a terrible locksmith. I can't figure out what to do with this key. <laughs> but I need three of them, so it'll be all right. You're working way too late. Well, I hope you're working on something fun then. I'm doing okay. I'm trying to get over a cold but I don't want to sleep. You know how it is. Not even a little? Oh, that is sad. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully it passes quickly then so that you can get on to more fun things. It's just busy work. Fair enough. I, I would take a nudge. Yeah. Uh, I usually use the universal hint system, but this game isn't in there, so... That's probably holding our third key. The ones in the crystal... One's in our hand, and one is there. Might want to check out the door I put the thing in before this door. here, but this one's up in the air. I didn't see anything else out in the gateway. in here. Close the book, but it just says his keys to success on it. And it doesn't look like it, but I'm clicking whenever that gear icon shows up. What else 
Joseph with God. I thought for sure that one of these crystals in my hand would have been the keys that I needed for where I'm at right now. Like right here. doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it just doesn't do anything because I'm out here. And it's powering something. didn't come sneaking in here anywhere. there yet. This one I know it responds to the blue one but not strong enough. power up again. Okay. The only thing that this does right now is this. And of course, it gave us the answer over there, but we already solved the puzzle with that. This also does not seem helpful right now. It does feel like the door that we put that ring into should open. I appreciate that they even have the electric eels since that's totally something that they did in Mist. Really didn't want to hold on there.
obviously. I really thought that it was not going to be that since it was like right there in front of us. Yishu would ask, what do you see? <laughs> Discovered the North Shore. Okay. Well, I'm glad we made it through that. So we've got a clue right in front of us. How to chop wood. Okay, the gear icon. And a sharpening stone for our axe. Okay, good. And an ad break. Oh. I suppose I should stop clicking on things for a couple of minutes. Don't click the things. Don't click the things. <laughs> oh. I think this will be our last ad break of the night. How many ads does it do? You've had turbo for a while. I love that. Um, definitely having turbo makes a huge difference and the value of turbo is huge. Uh, it runs three minutes. The number varies greatly. Uh, it can be anywhere from one long ad to like, I think the most I've seen somebody say in chat is that it's run nine ads. Usually we try to stand up, jump around, but I've had get up and move around breaks for all of the last of them. So I was like, I'm just going to stay here. I'll take an unmarked candy though. You're back. We have made progress. How was Ison? Hopefully all good. We've got ads running right now for the next 50 seconds or so. Amazing, of course. Jules from NZ. Hello, hello. Glad to hear that it's been amazing. I had a feeling when I when I read your message, I was like, are you answering Amy's question or my question? And then I was like, you were answering my question. It's a pleasure to have you here with us tonight. Jules is the amazing DM of Ison. Very, very nice. Well, welcome in. Amy, would you mind uh, giving Fate of Ison a shout out? I would do it, but I'm sure that I would misspell it right now. <laughs> it was amazing. It's so close to a TPK. Oh no. Well, if you like D&D, &D, and I don't know why it didn't load a profile picture for you, um, because you clearly have one, but my bot decided it didn't want to show it. Um, click that heart up at the top of chat and go over and give Fate of Ice and, uh, a follow. Um, they do, I think, I think it's every other week right now, um, but a fantastic long-running game. Describing with words what I see, not starting with what I think, what I should do. Like, I see a scales helps you in understanding puzzles. Oh, that's awesome! 
yes, it is every other. Okay, I thought I thought that was the right schedule. I'm not usually live on Tuesdays, but I've been having just such a chaotic schedule this year, uh, this whole summer, and then I keep thinking, oh, things are gonna get back to normal. And then another week goes by, and another week, and another week, and I'm on the road, and visiting friends, and everything else, and I'm like, I stream when I'm home. <laughs> and breathing. <laughs> Those are my two requirements now. All right, we just opened this up before the ad break there, and welcome back anyone who did get stuck behind those ads. I was thinking maybe our crystal rod goes in here? No. All right. Well, we'll find out what goes in there later. So many feels on that, right? Man, Embedbot is all about it. Once Jules in bed, wants to have some feels, like... What a way to, to welcome a new guest. Chaos schedule is accurate, yeah. Okay, it's just up or down on this one. Don't know what this thing is yet, but those are the options. We've got tongs, we've got lots of fire, metal rods. Star Shadow, hello. Well, I suppose I hear the proper welcome. Hello, hello, welcome in Raiders. Welcome in the Shadow Raid, also from Fate of Ice. And uh, Star Shadow, how are you doing? What were you up to? Of course, you'll get a shout out here in a moment when my bot catches up. There it is. We've got this Ace of Hearts over here. If you enjoy puzzle games, uh, you're gonna enjoy Star Shadow as well. Looks like. You're playing some Stray. Ooh, how are you enjoying that? Definitely a contrast to this type of puzzle uh, versus the puzzles and survival aspects in Stray. Uh, turn is going all right. We struggled a little bit. We had a couple of pointers and got back on track. And we just got into this, this North Shore area. So we just walked in here. Um, the Crystal Lab was really fun. I was overthinking the cipher and then the watchtower with the crystals and powering them up that part went, went really well so the pointers i needed was stop overthinking it just do it uh then from the watchtower i got the symbols from the blue crystal and we needed those they were actually on these blocks here on the stones I thought it was an engine, so I was completely off track on what I was looking for. So got a little nudge there, and then the nudge to go back and look at this door again, because I was running all over the place looking for anything else I could interact with, because I didn't think it was as obvious as clicking every single button on the path. I kept trying to, again, overthink things. So other than that, it's going absolutely wonderful. We were going to play Uru tonight. It didn't want to open, so I'm going to troubleshoot that later so we can finish up the Mist series. But for now, we're enjoying another puzzle game and glad to have you here with us. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Violacious and I'm completely a variety streamer with a chaos schedule. Uh, usually, if I stay on my schedule, Monday nights are supposed to be retro games. Uru was no room. Yes, exactly. Uh, Monday nights are supposed to be retro games. I've got a bunch of retro consoles. You can see a couple of them right there behind me. Um, Friday nights are supposed to be platformers and Sims. And then Sundays are miniature painting. Um, since I know we've got some D&D fans in the room, we've got our demon that we painted up for uh, Spooky Month with all of the reds. I still need to do... Uh, the varnish on it, and then the unfinished demon tree. So we'll finish this one up very, very soon. And then there's everybody's favorite, Mommy. And uh, we actually have a second one of her we're going to paint in uh, inverted. So we're actually gonna throw her into Photoshop, uh, invert the colors, color match 
and paint her in basically the negative if you were to take a picture of her. So uh, this one's really fun. I loved being able to do the detail on her face. And so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. We've been putting it off. We're holding it out at least until January. I don't know how soon we'll start it. But she's right here in the box. It's opened. The plastic's still on it. It doesn't need to be. But uh, she looks a lot different in here. Because she's in pieces. <laughs> but I also have another 400 plus minis that should be arriving at some point in the next two months. So we'll keep painting minis and hopefully speed up our pace a little bit because we've been doing them more as art pieces rather than uh, tabletop pieces. Not that many. No, no, not at all. As long as we paint, given what I have, plus what's coming, three per day for the rest of eternity, we might finish before the next life. <laughs> Because, of course, they're launching another campaign of, of caves in Q1 of next year. They were going to launch it right now, and they decided to hold off just a little bit, and all of us are grateful. Stop calling me out like this. <laughs> Look, it's all of us. <laughs> oh, it's an Eisen joke, too. Looking at your box of minis. The gray is real. And this is just the one I keep by my desk. All right, let's go back to puzzles that don't remind us of our bad habits. <laughs> no, but also jelly, right? Thanks for the follow. You'll come down and force you to do a paint and wine day for self-care. Amy, come over. I am all about this. I even have the wine. Oh, we've got another letter. This shore is special to me. The physical work I used to do here helped me calm my restless mind. Besides preventing the natural decline of organisms, the phenomenon also eliminates any need of nutrition. This means that despite the dry weather, the trees and bushes around here could easily be millions of years old. As I realized that time is no longer an obstacle, I had the opportunity to learn and perfect all of my artisan skills. This is the very place where I became a craftsman. After mastering blacksmithing and carpentry, I started to practice more advanced mechanical engineering. There's... It's only the last two that have time. Commander of all things. Artisan of my fate and that of several others. The others did not have Latin or any notes like that. And it's interesting that hovering over it translates it. So long as you can color instead of paint minis, heck yes. You do 2D arts and 3D. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay. All right, we need a few rungs for this ladder. To the right we go. Ooh. That's my kind of puzzle.
I feel like this is one that we could accidentally solve pretty easily. There aren't as many combinations as the others. You love the aesthetic of this game? Yeah, it is. Also so pretty again. Yeah, the atmospheric puzzles do such a good job. What was he carving out of the crystal? Oh, our next key. Oh, it's like he's making fuses. I also appreciate that even though he's carving out of crystal, he's still making a screw. No more secret notes. But there's a boat. Aw. We can't power up the boat yet. Ego and the other thing that my wand didn't fit in? I don't think so yet. Because I was looking at this here, which is actually into a fire. There's like this little spot where it's waiting for me to hand it something to take inside. And when I close this, it starts a time ticking. So I'm not sure what exactly it wants yet. And then the door opens back up again. That's a cooker of some sort. Yeah, we can bake some bread. That would be great. Although apparently we don't need nutrition and we don't age. Oh. I guess we need another one of those. We found a little... A key in search of a lock, and now we have a lock in search of a key. Can we get one of those metal rods? Mystery chest indeed. Nika. Uh-huh. Arf. What? What? You'd read Dima Chest to show Nika, but don't want to reward barking, right? Can you knock it off? You good? We can just give her a few minutes and then give her one. I won't say that other word because I don't want her to know it's coming. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and do it. My office is a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. Where are you looking at, camera? Oh, I have to run and get them. They're in the other room. One moment. I'll be right back. <laughs>
me miss it. That'll work. Hi, puppy. Need to move that camera. It's not in a very good spot anymore. Give me a pause up. Oh, look at me. Give me a pause up. I think my camera's zoomed in. One moment. Hello, camera. No, you're not thinking about it. That again. <laughs> Sorry, it's like stuck right now. <laughs> No, you can't find me at all, can you? There you go. Oh, you almost did it. That's better. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, and stop tracking me. Okay, Nika. Backpack? What's on your nose? Sit down. All right, give me another pause up. And I got her some new treats too, so she has some venison jerky treats. for the Nika Treat Redeem. Always a favorite. Now my terrible chair that the cats destroyed. <laughs> oh yes, she is always happy with that. a little spot on her nose that she doesn't normally have, and I'm trying to figure out what she got into. She was running around out in the yard. It almost looks like she, like, maybe she got into my fire pit. <laughs> like, it's a little bit of charcoal. How many puzzle games around are around that don't use keys? Ooh, that's a good question. You need to redeem to give me a treat. You see those cookies? I had enough of those cookies already, and it's really bad. I was not home for Halloween. I still got Halloween candy to pass out just in case. This is a giant bag of Reese's and Kit Kats. I'm like, I don't need 80 pieces. I gave away... Like, ten? <laughs> so, yeah. I might need some help getting rid of stuff. You have just-in-case Halloween treats. You were at your sister's for the trick-or-treaters. Oh, I love that. Nika treats and fight treats. Exactly. She's just sitting here. She's happy as can be now. She's like, oh, yeah. I got the venison and I got the, the chicken treats and all the things. And she already had dinner too. 
her dinner was um it was thanksgiving dinner so she had turkey and potatoes and green beans and carrots and stuffing and gravy she eats much much better than i do <laughs> okay we're looking for another key or a door or something you don't get trick or treaters, you either, but you just buy yourself ridiculous piles of candy. But yours is logic. You buy candy so that you don't buy candy to eat on a regular basis. Which is brilliant. For sure, I could take one of these metal rods, but I mean, it looks like they would fit perfectly in here. True, but you're also out of chocolate related candies, which is proving a problem. We need to do a stock tomorrow. Okay. there's more out here by this where the skull was but we definitely know there's more with the skull we only have left and right so let's try everything paired up and along the way this also try gets us one up and one down the only one we had to part with that combination. Did we just essentially try everything? Pretty close. This game just make your brain go brrrr. That's totally understandable. This one I'm not trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to just try all of the combinations, which... And there we've done it. Um, because there were only so many options with only two available and only four possible values, but looking at this and seeing that these have gears say that there's going to be more to this one than just the skull. So I need to find some answer to how this one's supposed to work. And we don't have that answer yet. We picked up the key here. But these little fuse things, which look like they're probably part of the clue but I can't pick them up or interact with them. Do any secret answers?
Can I just say that this guy cutting down trees in a land that time doesn't pass so nothing can grow new is kind of messed up. Like, I realize he used them for learning and crafting and, and good things, but still, it's not like I can get trees again. It's not like they're the renewable resource that we have. Wait, we do have this. What can we use that for? Can't turn the wheel. We have a broken wheel. doesn't feel like it's telling us to go this way, but I'm checking this way anyway. You don't have symbols on you, no. else do we have? He has his paintbrush here like he was out here painting secret symbols again. But where? like I could go that way, but I guess not. Oh no, there we go. Doesn't help. Okay. So we have a ladder without rungs. We have metal rods that we can't pick up. Why do I enjoy people watching people bang their head against a wall? <laughs> this is a great question. I enjoy it too. I don't know why. It's like watching people get jump scared. And for some reason, it's better if you know that it's about to happen. And you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, here it comes. <laughs> but most people I don't like watching jump scares or watching them do horror. But then it's like friends or people that are playing games I've played. I'm like, yes, let's do this. I swear I'm not evil in real life. Why did I come back here? Um. Hmm. What is our next piece? Do we have anything other than the skull that we can interact with? Want to see a fun bug? Absolutely! Let me save it before we do any bug hunting here. Alright. Go stand in the water. Where can I stand in the water? Over here?
then go to settings and adjust water quality. Oh! <laughs> well, at least we came back down. <laughs> that is a fun bug. <laughs> We step out of the water before we bump it back up. I can see that being like a speedrunner trick. Like, if we do this... And then we bounce across the map. It just feels like it has to be tied to this somehow. It's the only thing I can see so far with circles like this. definitely need whatever goes in here or it doesn't matter what position those are in Can't walk off the front of the boat to the other side. Huh. I'll leave you there. Are you just... Nope. Sometimes the cursor's a clue. Yeah. Like this one being sideways... busy for a bit did I find ladder planks yet or is that the end goal I don't know um I haven't found any planks I've found zero progress we played with the skull for a minute I moved this thing up but only the one one notch because it won't move anymore right now and then I flipped the lever over there for the forge again 
but it did not forge anything because fire did not happen. Wait a second. Oh, I thought it was giving me the icon on this rod. I was like, is it going to be that? It was right next to it, but no, it wasn't. So trying to find anything that I can interact with right now is where I'm at. table all over this Something here, but I can't do anything with it yet. Actually, those look a lot like this, but I can't move it. or if that'll help anything. This one is very confusing. The part I match is confusing because I don't know what to interact with. So I'm looking at everything. I know we need a key, but there's no obvious keys. And their cursor will tell us if there's something to interact with, but Right now we have the lock, the switch, the lever for the furnace, and the skull. Oh, and the boat. I was thinking we were maybe supposed to make one. That's possible, yeah. Especially with like the little thing at the bottom and everything. There's definitely something we're supposed to put in here. But it's not the magic key and it's not the blue rod. I can go back and get the orange crystal rod, but that's the only thing that we don't have with us we can carry right now. Unless some other door has miraculously opened. Which, I mean, that's happened, so it's not like that's unheard of. But it would feel weird for them to say, okay, you opened a door and got a key. Go on back now. And this room's just pretty as all heck. Because we're shining a crystal up here and it's creating stars on the ceiling. It is very pretty. Yeah sure that door didn't open. We can try the crystal. We may as well try it. Yeah. Take it with us. It'll turn off the stars, but that's okay. I also really appreciate, like, when I first saw the stars... 
and they were just kind of thrown at the ceiling. I was like, okay, well, the guy just apparently decided to throw crystal dust up at the ceiling. But then when he said that there's no day and night cycle and time doesn't pass, now I get it. He was like, I miss the night sky. And he threw him up there because when he lit it up, it could be the night sky up above him. Instead of just this brown roof. His version is of putting those glow-in-the-dark star stickers on his ceiling. Exactly. Oh my gosh, I still have to take those off of my bedroom ceiling from my former roommate. There's like two or three clusters of them. They're not like constellations or anything. Nothing there. kind of interesting with the large crystals in here with the logs like they set them on fire but they're not burning we now have a different type of crystal in his letter again? No, that didn't help. The bushes and trees around here could easily be millions of years old. Because I realized that time is no longer an obstacle. I had the opportunity to learn and perfect my artisan skills the very place where I became a craftsman. After mastering blacksmithing and carpentry, I started to practice more advanced mechanical engineering. Artisan of my fate and that of several others. Figured that one out. Figured this one out. I mean, it was there in plainest day. Uh, this is our only current clue. But we don't have anything that matches up to it. Am I looking at things too closely? Oh, that's where we were before, where we caught the fish. Okay. Oh, 
That looks important. Like there's a piece missing here. What piece? I have no idea. I think... Can you look at the thing casting a light? Maybe something's in the wrong place. But the thing casting the light. We just have the skull. And I don't know that I have them in the right spot. Like, I have no frame of reference for this. Just that there's only so many options for for these to go. Yeah, I think that because it has a gear up here, I think there's another piece that we plug in here. And then it can't be completed until we get that. That's what happened at the last one. So we had a handle we had to put in the door. And we had a button plate that we had to put on the wall and then we had to push the right buttons after those two things were in place so these were two separate pieces we had to find before we could solve the puzzle and open this one door and then we have the one key that I assume is to this but I haven't been able to figure out the combination that it wants me to do. So there's one with four, one with two, and one with three. So I was trying to figure out the positioning of this one. And our three pins are kind of the same size. But then it's like... Which way does it want to go? And I assume this is going to the left. So it'll sit this way. Because it has the little pin right there. So if that's to the left... Oh. Then it needs one pointing towards it at least. So it should be like something like that. Or exactly like that. So we have two more of those we need to find. So that's at least one more thing down. Um, I wasn't too worried about it since I don't have the other two. We know where one of them is because one of them is currently encased in crystal. A, like invisible ghost crystal but figuring that out is also another thing that is just racking my brain and then I think the third one is over by the fishing spot because there's a little chest there that takes a key to open it and we don't have the key to open that chest either All of our other doors are locked. I'm missing something obvious. Something very obvious. But... It is 1.20 in the morning. And we've been going for five hours, so I think this is where we're going to call it for the night. Let's exit out of here. Pop over to the chat area. Exit completely out of the game. Wow, that got quiet in a hurry. Um, 420 there. Well, perfect. 
my unmarked candy should start kicking in any time now. So uh, I'll join you for 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 420 uh, after we get out of here and off the cameras. Um, let's see who's doing what out there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know exactly where we can go. How do I want to put this? Let's see if, if you're subbed here, I'm going to put the raid messages in. These are not our usual ones. So just grab one of these. And there's the second one in case you're not subbed. And Amy, I have a feeling you know where we're going. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Let's go see Lawful. Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out tonight. Thank you for the new follows. Um, Kellen and Star Shadow, thank you so much for the raids. Uh, it's been wonderful hanging out with everybody. Samsara got to hang on to her head, which is great because she needed to use it to get back on stage. So thank you again. Um, our next scheduled stream is Friday. We might pop on earlier for a surprise one and more... Uh, Kieran, we'll see. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord. There it is. Um, for all stream updates, movies, hanging out, other miscellaneous stuff, follow us on all of the socials. We're literally on all of them, and I need to do better of oh, actually posting on all of them, but we're on them. Um, anyways, until next time. I look forward to seeing you all on your own channels, on the other channels that we all hang into. I'm sorry it is ending. I do need to get some sleep, but we will be back very, very soon. Uh, so keep an eye out. We'll, we'll do some more soon. Thank you all so, so much. And as I was saying, uh, I'll see you again soon on your own channel for the many, many of you that also stream uh, on the others that we all hang out in together and hopefully back here again soon. And until then, bye.